Okay, I'm not going to be, I'm going to try not to be too long on this Kevin Samuels uh, situation. It's, it seems quite weird to me. Doesn't even seem like he's gone. It seemed like his energy um, is still here on this earth. And it will be quite weird if all of a sudden he signs on to his account and start doing a show. Right now, he could be sitting back watching the response of everyone, hearing what everyone has to say about him. But then the mainstream media now has the information and they confirmed that it was Kevin Samuels. I read the story and the first thought came to my mind was who got to him? Now, allegedly, he was with a young woman, a prostitute. Allegedly, he woke up the next morning and he complained about chest pain. And then he collapsed on the female. But in the article I read, when they came in, they found him on the floor. So were they on the bed or were they on the floor when he collapsed on her? How did he get to the floor? If he had complained about chest pain and then he collapsed on her, was it in the bed or was it on the floor? Because according to the article I read, he was on the floor. And now rumor has it that his death was caused by cocaine laced with fentanyl. To my understanding, Kevin Samuels was strict when it came to health. He seemed like he was in pretty good health. It didn't seem like he would be a person that would be using cocaine and putting himself in a position where he could or something could go wrong with his health. Especially if so many females out there hate him and despise him. And I find it quite weird and creepy that all of a sudden, America has this infatuation, this worship with women. Everything is about women. Women have more rights than men, but they're still complaining. And then when you have someone like Kevin Samuels to come along, and I don't feel that he hated black women. I don't feel he disrespected black women. The only time you really heard him going in on a black female is when she disrespected him. He gave it back to her just like she gave it to him. And dealing with one woman is not targeting all black women, but now we see that so many black women and black males have so much hatred for Kevin Samuels that they're even now trashing him and celebrating his death. What did he do that was so bad? He told the truth. He saved a lot of relationships. He matchmaked and got people together. But there seemed to be so much hostility and animosity against the man just because of his views and opinion. When you have the right, you have the option to not listen to him. Why do you go to his channel just to become enraged? It makes no sense to me. If I don't like what a person has to say, I would not 
waste my time and my energy or even put in my mental Rolodex listening to what they have to say. But people put so much energy and hatred towards Kevin Samuels to the point now where they're celebrating his death. And like I mentioned in that past video, we have situations like George Floyd that actually did harm to women, broke into the woman's house, raped the pregnant woman or beat the pregnant women. And yet you're celebrating him, technically worshiping George Floyd. But Kevin Samuels come along with information, his views, his opinions, like every other YouTuber on here. And yet you hate the man so much that you celebrate his death. Have no regards for his family and how his family feels. And the thought that his family have to watch these videos and hear what you have to say about their loved one. The mother has to, you, you claim to care so much about women and how women feel, but yet you don't care about Kevin Samuels' mom and how she feels about what you say about her son. Although you never met Kevin Samuels in your life, just watch his YouTube videos, but yet you have so much hate and disgust for the man. But when I first heard this story and heard he was with this female, and it's alleged that he's with he was with in a Hawaiian female, a prostitute, a lady of the night. How do we know that she was not a Kevin Samuels hater? And she was used to get to him. Somebody got to him. I don't think this man, 50, what, 55, 50, whatever his age is, had a heart attack. Some people are saying that he came and went at the same time. That's one of Richard Pryor's jokes back in the day. Those that are as old as I am, right? And I know I look good. I don't look my age. But some are saying that he used sex pills, either Viagra, Cialis. Some say he drank a lot of Red Bulls. And we told him to stop drinking so many Red Bulls, is what they said. Trying to figure out what happened to this man. He had a heart attack. The next morning after being with this woman. And now it's alleged that cocaine and fentanyl was involved. So who got to this man? And I wouldn't doubt it because there is so much hatred and especially among so-called black males. And I believe that there's many black males that's upset and don't like Kevin Samuels because of envy and jealousy. There are so many that wanted him off of YouTube because he was getting the attention, the views and the sus subscribers that you weren't getting. So you were hoping and praying for his downfall. And I even heard someone say, who is now going to take the reins? Who's going to be the new Kevin Samuels? Now that he's gone. The man is not even cold in the grave yet. And you're concerned about who's going to be next. That's sick. That's a sick way of thinking. That's the mindset of so many so-called Black Americans today. And you're quick 
to yell out Black Lives Matter. You're quick to talk about how you love Black people and Black people need to come together, but yet you have so much hatred towards this man that you disrespect him even in his death, making videos, making mockery of this man's death. That's not normal to me. But my conspiracy theory is that someone got to him and the only person that could probably get that close is a woman he allowed to get close to him. And my question is still, how did he get from the bed to the floor? If he collapsed on her, if he woke up and said, I have pain in my chest, my chest is bothering me, and he collapsed on her, no time to get any type of medical attention. Was he doing cocaine? And was that cocaine laced with fentanyl? And then he's like, sexing this female? exerting all that energy and then he go to sleep and they say usually when heart attacks or strokes happen it's after you calm down in many cases and it happens at nighttime when you're resting but again he appeared to be the type of person that took care of himself so it's just a lot of unanswered questions and we won't find out you know they say it's a heart attack but we won't find out until the autopsy report comes back and give insight to what caused that heart attack overexertion from that young girl and i don't think it had anything to do with his age because he appeared to be in good shape he didn't appear to be out of shape but if he was using cocaine and if that cocaine was laced with fentanyl and he drank Red Bull because that I'm sure that was his drink because he's always got a Red Bull. That could be an ingredient for a heart attack, but it just don't seem like his energy is gone. Doesn't seem like it. And to be honest, I was never a Kevin Samuels fan. I had my thoughts and opinions of the man but I never disrespect the man. There's no need for me to disrespect that man. I don't know that man, never met that man. But he had a lot of good things to say. He brought a lot of relationships together. He gave hope and insight to a lot of women that were lost or that was on the wrong path. And in that journey, he ran upon some that um, were disobedient beings, disobedient energy, that were aggressive, that was hostile towards him. And he gave them what they gave him. They reap what they sow. So now you have females saying that he reap what he sowed. He told women how they were going to uh, grow old alone or he, they were going to die alone. And here it is, he died alone. But he was married twice. And there's people that are saying that how could he give relationship advice when he had two failed marriages? Well, that would be a person that would be... Um, considered eligible to give relationships advice because he can tell the mistakes he made and he can tell the mistakes she made. You don't have to have a flawless relationship past or, or, or marriage history to give advice, to give relationship advice. You help people to not make the same mistakes you made. You help people not to make the same mistakes your partner made. That's how you learn, through mistakes. 
through trial and through error. But because so many people dislike this man, they're going to use his failures against him. Now, like when David Carroll passed away, Kevin Samuels didn't believe to, he didn't appear to be a believer in the most high or didn't seem to have that kind of confidence in the Bible or in church because when women called in and they spoke on their faith or church or the Bible, he hung up on them. He didn't want to hear that. And he had his opinion on God, the Bible, and the church. So now he has the truth. And he even made a video putting himself in hell, saying that someone was going to be in hell with him. So maybe he has some level of knowledge of where he's going. But that's not for me nor anyone else to judge. Those are his words. Right? But whether or not he believes in God or not, now he's learning that for himself and there's no second chance. There's no way to get out of the judgment of Yah. And I'm not going to preach to you. But now he's facing reality. Because right now we're in the matrix. Everything around us, just because we see it, don't mean that it's reality. How many times have you went to sleep and you had a dream that seemed so real? And then when you woke up, it wasn't. And how many times have you been awake and things happen and you say, this has to be a dream. It does not seem real to me. So right now we're in a, a simulation. We're in the matrix. We're ruled by laws. And if we break those laws, things happen to us. And we have no type of control. You can't fight against this law. So we are, in a sense, enslaved, ensnared in a system that the only way to get out of this system is by death. And in many cases, people try to take that path out and fail. And not only did they fail, it put themselves in a deeper permanent hell because now they're paralyzed or they don't have their mental capacity. So that in itself is a type of hell because they can't take this simulation or this matrix that we're in. But now that he's passed on, he now has to deal with pure reality. So I didn't mean to go that route. Feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe. But it's sad. It doesn't seem like the brother's gone. Um, God rest the dead. You know, and I hope he's in a better place right now because he's in a place where um, a lot of people wish to be right now because their lives are not happy. And we can see that just by the reaction of people that's hating on him, even in his death. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Till next time. I'm fearless.